Okay, today we got a couple ones. Obviously, we have a robot. What a thought. It's a police robot. Pretty cool, right? It looks cool. But something else is they go mech frame. Let's see which one we're gonna do first. Um, which one's better? Um, the other one has more detail. Okay, let's look at this police robot. Okay, so basically the reason, uh, well, it's basically OP. The reason why is because this little um accent can come off to be like a little. Kinda like those little bu- flying buzzsaw things from the um, uh, Titan Clockman from Skibbity Toy Multiverse, you know. So can these little ones. The bigger one is for like bigger enemies, but these ones are just for like enemies to size. I don't know why these are here. And um. um uh, Basically, these can come off, so like if someone's like far away, you can be like, basically go get over here, you know? And if you're wondering how I made this complex set, I'll show you real quick. By the way, these little things can shoot, like, pew, pew. by the way, also we to play this robot, it's kind of obvious. The way I have made this, this set, I'll put it into many compartments, okay? Okay, so basically we got this simple structure. We got like one of those, oh wait, oh my. I've got to fix it from playing. Oh no. Okay, got like this. Got like this binoculars with like a little teeth teeth piece on it. Wait, okay, sorry. We got a, um, Yep. Okay. Okay. There we got the head connect. Oh no. Some of his uh, um parts do come off pretty easily, so we'll just reattach that, and we will. Put them to the side while we talk about the mech frame. I I will use this uh, mech for like a course about all the weird cuts because there's stuff happening. But that's okay. At least we got some Legos. Hold up, I gotta show you something. I'll show you what how I got the inspiration to make this. Okay, chubby bots. Wait, did I not stop recording? And they just died. What random timing? Basically, I was gonna show you a mech, um, like of one of my um, what I got the inspiration of. Okay. That, now that's final. Okay. Let's uh, go to the posability test. The arm is it's pretty good for 360. Oh, yeah, that comes off easily. For 360. Uh, yep. We got some pos- got some fingers. So he can give you a big fat thumbs up like how you should of this video how about you full screen out like the video and subscribe you know kind of like that red little rectangle at the bottom you know yeah see yep okay press it thank you okay onwards and forward got the yeah so we got he of course needs legs to walk we got some, uh, so you can do that. It's basically the average pushability of any of my Legos. Basically, all my Legos are basically almost have the same 
unpushability. So yeah, I hope you all have a great day or night, depending on when this video comes out or when you're watching it. Don't mind the background music. Maybe a bit out, but hey, at least it's some good tunes. Dun dun.